What's up, people? It's Guru, and welcome to Geek It's Out. Today, we will be reviewing Star Wars Age of the Republic, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's go. All right, guys. Uh, we start off another one with uh, pretty much Obi-Wan and Anakin. And Anakin is still training to be, I guess, a Padawan. He's still pretty young in this issue. Uh, I guess, like, early teens, maybe. And, um... Obi Wan still training. It's, it kind of as far as right after. Let's see, episode. What would that be? Uh, the beginning three. Uh, was it? Uh, anyway, when they were doing the pog racing, I've got the name of that uh movie. It's right after that. Uh, he's training Anakin. They're at the Jedi, whatever, whatever, and he's learning. He's learning to be a Jedi. He's meditating and stuff like that. We found out that. Anakin doesn't like it because he feels that he's above some of the other kids that are younger than him and the things they're practicing he already knows because uh, Obi-Wan is sent on a mission by uh, Yoda and he goes on the mission because it also shows him foreshadowing, not foreshadowing, but uh, thinking back to when uh, Kwai John <laughs> Jin <laughs> was killed by Darth Maul and he thinks about that right there and he also talked to anakin and anakin is like pretty much like i said was like well i don't need to be in this group i'm beyond this i'm doing this that and the third and he doesn't want to be a part of the group but he was trying to tell him like look oh because you don't think you're this you know i was he was a padawan you know and his master got killed so and then of course we all know obi-wan was the one to end up killing darth maul so it ain't about like, oh, because you think you're a certain skill level or you think you're above something. A uh, weaker person can still be the, a stronger person. A stronger person can still be the, you know, it is what it is. Y'all get what I'm saying. So you're trying to convey this um, lesson onto Anakin and he kind of gets it, but he actually takes, Yoda actually gives him permission to take Anakin with him. And him and Anakin go to uh, the spot where they were sent, the little mission, and they meet up with this chick. She's kind of like a, I guess, I don't know. She's at this site and they're digging up uh, artifacts, archaeologists, I guess. And she said they've been having some trouble with pirates coming by. And she found something that she thought would be of interest to the Jedi. And so he goes in there and he tells and it tells Anakin, hold watch while I'm in here while we handle this business. He's like, all right, cool, gotcha. So he's outside with the guards, guard to see if any bandits run by pirates. And this lady, she gives Obi-Wan this weird gem. I think it's called the Holocron. Holocron. And he takes it. And as soon as he gets it, uh, they're under attack. Anakin runs in, telling like, hey, the pirates are here. He goes out of handle and tells him, like, pretty much, like, hey, look, pulling rank. Like, yo, I'm a Jedi with the council, you know, you know, back the back up. The guy pretty much like, nah, I ain't backing up, you know what I'm saying? You on my planet, you know what I'm saying? We gonna take whatever you got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't care about that council, Jedi, whatever. And so, Obi-Wan, hey, hey, he pulled his thing, thing, gonna pull out the lightsaber, like, look, dude, I ain't gonna tell you again, man, you know, it can get rough real quick. So this dude was, he was about, his, about that life too. So he sent his goons at Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan defeats him easily, but one thing about it, he didn't kill them. He disarmed them. Did the force put? He did the force push. Uh, he knocked a lot of them down. He cut a lot of their weapons out of their hands with his lightsaber. But this is the thing. Of course, they're crim. They're they're the evil guys. They don't play fair. He gets a one of the guys get a hold of Anakin and puts a, a sword to his neck. Like, look, I got your boy. Give up the goods, and you could be out of here. Or, you know, I'm gonna take his head off. But Anakin uses a technique, something that uh at the beginning of the issue that he was uh learning was trying to hold these rocks together and uh, my man obi-wan said hold them together as long as possible and uh try, try to i guess strengthen his force use and he closes his eyes and he uses the rocks on the ground and he actually hits the bandit in the back of his head so hard that he pretty much is knocked out anakin is freed and then when he's standing over him, he got, you can see like the rocks like floating around. It was a pretty good scene, you know, because you got, because he has, he doesn't have a lightsaber yet, you know. And you got, you got him sitting there. There's Obi-Wan with his lightsaber out, like ready to rumble. And then like Anakin got these like ro rocks floating around him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, 
I don't know. I guess he can just fire off like projectiles or bullets, you know. But it was a cool little scene. I like that. And so, you know, of course, they get away with the holocron and take it back to where they were at with Yoda. And um, he pretty much tells him, like, look, he lets him fly the ship for a little while and everything. So uh, to make Anakin feel better. And um, it was a good little bonding. It was a bonding issue. You know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, you know, it's pretty. Hey, we learned some lessons today. Um, yay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, a little foreshadowing showed a picture of him back when Anakin was a little boy and how um, Quadra Jin <laughs> thought he was going to be the chosen one. And uh, he had that much faith in him. And, you know, he went against the council to teach him and now obi-wan is teaching him too so he's like following him behind his master's footsteps and he's been how much yoda has been accepting of anakin after his refusal to actually not want anakin to be in become jedi so which is cool man um scale of one to ten i gotta be real with you guys um six tops man six and a half tops um if you're not a true diehard Star Wars fan, I wouldn't pick this up. Um, if you are a fan of it, you probably like it a lot more than I did. I like Star Wars, but I'm not a, a you know, this, oh, Star Wars everything. Um, it was just a, it was a cool read, you know, not spectacular. You know, didn't get any hype over anything. So, man, it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Um, the one with Darth Maul was way better. The one with Darth Maul to me was my favorite one. That was the best one. Then the one with uh, Kwa John Jin <laughs> was better. This one. This is just the worst one so far. Um, not that it's bad. It's just not. You know, hey, it is what it is. But as always, I am the Guru. This is the Geek Assault Channel, your one-stop shop for all your geek culture needs. And I'm out. Peace.